to the Introvert Circus. I'm Sassafras. This is Sirius, and we have a very different sort of video today. I'm really excited. It is going to be a toy unboxing, not sponsored. Bought this with my own money. This is definitely not the kind of content that I usually put on this channel anymore, but if you've been here for a very long time, you'll know that this channel actually got its start very much connected to my love of toys. So uh, a couple of years ago when YouTube's policy is about toy content and things like that started to shift. I moved all of my toy content that I make over to my Patreon. If you're ever interested in that, go check it out. I upload play videos, toy videos, all that good stuff almost daily on my Patreon. Um, so this is the first time though that I have done a toy video here on YouTube in years. But we're back to do this video because it's connected to dogs and dog training. So I believe that it fits for this channel and the purpose of this channel now. This video is intended for adult toy collectors and shoppers. Um, so we'll see if the YouTube algorithm likes that, approves of that, um, or if this video gets demonetized. We'll see, because YouTube does not like toy content anymore on the platform. But I'm so excited. I placed an order at Walmart, which not something I often do, but last week one of my uh, followers let me know about a really cool new toy that I had not seen before and I immediately had to get it for myself. And it is the My Life As 18 inch doll dog trainer. So I am a huge toy collector, but I am not a big doll person. I actually really like LOL dolls, but like on the whole, I wouldn't consider myself a doll person. And I'm definitely not an 18 inch doll person. This is my first 18 inch doll that I have had since I was in like fourth grade. I am turning 38 in a couple of months. So 18 inch dolls are not part of what I collect or what I like to have around, but I could not resist this doll and the associated um, accessory pack, which I'm gonna show you in a minute. Um, I'm super excited to get her. She was amazing and I knew I needed to have her in my office because if you are new to this channel, you might not know. I am a trick dog trainer and uh, what I do as my job is I write dog training articles for a variety of publications, including the American Kennel Club, Apartment Therapy, the New York Times, Wired, Cuteness, Dogster Magazine, all kinds of places. I write about dogs and dog training all day long. It's my biggest passion. I love it so, so much. And I also really love toys and I have quite a collection of dog um, like play, like training playset toys, mostly small ones, Polly Pocket, uh, Playmobil, a bunch of those, and some other ones, um, Barbie pets, that kind of stuff. But when I saw this, I knew I needed to have it um, in my office when I'm writing books and magazine articles and all that stuff. So let's get started opening her up. Um, before that, I want to quickly show you the accessory pack. This is what really did me in. And I in part was like, I have to get the doll to go with it, partially because she was so cute, but also because I didn't know if any of the toys I had already would be able to really fit some of these accessories. I actually think they would have, but it was an excuse to buy another toy. So this accessory pack is absolutely amazing. It's so cute. I almost don't even want to open it, but inside there is a little training booklet, dog training 101, a beginner's guide. We have a leash. We have a medal award. We have a Frisbee. We have some dog poop and a poop bag dispenser. We have a ball, we have a tug toy, we have a clicker, I'm obsessed. How cute is that? We have some treats, we have a jump, we have a treat bag holder, and we have some little treats. So this is amazing. Um, for a price, I believe this was $9.99 or $9.98, something like that, on walmart.com, and the My Life doll was $24.99. So altogether, I spent like $35, and I feel like this was absolutely worth it as a dog trainer, as a toy collector. Um, but before we open up, there's all kinds of different careers um, that these dolls come in, and the dog trainer specific one comes in three different versions, um, and it has a little description. When you love animals as much as I do, being a dog trainer is the best job ever. Each dog is different, so I always get to know them and work with them to bring out their best behaviors and manners. Dogs are fantastic learners, and it's amazing to watch them show off the new tricks they've learned. I love this description. I think this is super, super 
cute. Here's the three versions that this doll comes in. All of them have the same outfit. Uh, I love this. I think these are absolutely adorable. Uh, so let's get this open. So it comes without any plastic um, over the top of it. I assume for environmental reasons, I'm just gonna take some scissors and quickly cut our new doll friend out so we can get a better look. And I think this is the last. Yeah, not actually a ton of connectors, which is very nice. Okay, so I'm going to definitely take this box apart and try to peel some of the bits of cardboard off to make them thinner to put in my daily art journal. If you're interested in daily art journaling and how I document things like this in my daily art journal, definitely check out my Instagram uh, where I post my daily art journal pages almost every day. Also, don't forget to check out Sirius's Instagram. She just hit 14,000 followers today and all of that will always be linked in the description box below. Uh, here she is. Okay, so super, super cute. She is posable, which the box makes a, a point to tell us. Oh, they have an extra rubber band. Yeah, let's take the rubber band. Is that part of your hair? No, that was part of your arm. Okay, so we had a rubber band that was sort of holding, holding her into the, oh, it's holding her arms from getting, okay. I see, hair to arms. I'm gonna just pop that off. I do not wanna take her twisty pigtails out because those are super cute. All right, so she can bend her legs. She can bend her arms, super flexible imposable which will be really fun love this so for um those of you who have not the last time again i bought an 18 inch doll i was in like fourth grade and i was an american girl like when american girl was owned by pleasant company style doll person uh as an adult toy collector i have not purchased 18 inch dolls before so i was excited to see what she's like so she has a partially cloth body and partially um I don't know what this is, vinyl, probably vinyl, and full vinyl arms and full vinyl legs that connect to the rest of her body, which is plush. So really cool, looks really cool with outfits. I really like this style. Um, really nice hair, super soft. I like this hairstyle. I'm not gonna take it out of this hairstyle because I won't be able to replicate that. Um, but why we're here is because of the dog trainer. In fact, let's tuck your tag in. All right, so. She comes with this really cool rainbow tie-dyed sweatshirt that says dog trainer in glittery letters with a really cute little dog on there. I would legit wear this sweatshirt if I could find that sweatshirt in my size. Um, <laughs> it's pretty funny today, actually. I feel like I'm dressed like a giant toy collector. Um, I went to my post office box to pick her up because I had placed this order, shipping it to my PO box, not realizing Walmart was going to ship this in a giant box. Uh, and I had to unwrap her from the box at the post office so that I could get her into my bag to bike home with her. Um, I will insert a picture here of um, me attempting to bike home. Well, actually it was once I got home with her and with Starbucks and all of the toys. I should have brought my cargo bike. Uh, all right, so we have glittery rainbow sweatshirt. Then we have denim shorts super practical with some glittery paw prints on them. These are really cute. I would also wear these. Uh, and then for shoes, she's got little sneakers. These are really cute. How do these come off? These just pull off? Yeah. Little sneakers that have little dog faces on them. These are really cute. I would also wear these. The theme of this um, video is this doll's clothes are cute and I would wear them. All right, let's get your shoe on. Okay, and she's 18 inches. So she will work with a bunch of different plush toys. I actually have this stuffed Newfoundland that I think is kind of the perfect size for her. Um, I got this, this is this plush uh, Seaman who was the dog of Lewis and Clark. Seaman's collar on. And I got this at Cape Disappointment uh, in Washington State last summer when we went there with Sirius uh, on vacation. I am quite obsessed with all of the different Seaman statues and locations and things like that across the Pacific Northwest. So um, I think that <laughs> she may end up with a Newfoundland when I set her up in my office, which will probably be seated on a shelf, maybe standing on a shelf. We'll see. How does she stand? Does she stand well? I'm guessing she will need to lean too consistently. I lied, she stands really nicely. All right, well, she can stand right here. 
She also actually has a name. I have to say, okay, put it next to Sirius. Uh -huh. I'm gonna stand right here with Sirius. Sirius is like, I don't know who you are. <laughs> you guys can't see her, but she's like, what is that thing? Um, I am naming her Jillian because, whoops, sorry, Sirius. Okay, she does stand well, but she can also fall over. Good girl, Sirius. Like, what are you doing? Uh, I'm naming her Jillian, which is the name of the protagonist in my forthcoming middle grade young adult novel, um, which is the first book in my Junior Handler dog show series. I'm very excited about it. More information about that release hopefully coming later this year. Um, but that's the main character of the book and I'm working on it. And so I thought it's so perfect. One of the things I love to do is to associate toys or to like assign toys to be different characters of big fiction projects I'm working on. I just was talking about this in great detail last week with my patrons um, about how I use toys and dollhouses and sort of all kinds of little scenes of toys as part of my creative writing process. And so this is just a bigger version of that. So this is Jillian. The, and she's going to kind of be a stand in in my office to remind me to work on getting that novel finished and out the door. But now we're going to open up this pack. I'm, I'm obsessed with this. I honestly want to just like not open this and put it on my wall as is because it's so flipping cute. But I'm not that kind of toy collector. So we're going to open it up and we're going to see these toys in real life. So it is a clamshell pack hi it's not i know it they are toys but they're not they're not dog toys for you princess that's confusing she says all right so i'm just trying to open this up oh that destroyed it i was trying to not destroy the cute text because again i want to use it in my daily art journal but i will have to just use that from the back which will be fine all right so this is the part i've been super excited to see we are gonna get this open. All right, so the first thing is there's plastic over the top. Okay, let's get the plastic off. We have the little book, a Dog Training 101, A Beginner's Guide. It has an adorable Rottweiler on the front. Cute, this is awesome. I was not sure what it was gonna be like. Dog Language 101, we have some little descriptions of dog body language, which is pretty great. Um, it also, well, it's not all body language. It also has things like fetch. Fetch is not a body language, but it is very cute. Good. I will give it like B plus for effort. Basic hand commands. Uh, that's a personal pet peeve of mine. I like using the word Q instead of commands, but that's just me being me. Watch, sit, good. I don't know what good is. I'm assuming good is like intended to be like a marker word. Shake, down, play, jump, heel. This is so cute. <gasps> this definitely might go in my daily art journal. Uh, unless I'm going to keep this as a toy. Dog training commands, basic commands, sit, come, stay, lay down, settle, leave it. Popular dog tricks, high five, wave goodbye, shake hands, bow, roll over, spin, give kiss, jump over, peekaboo, stick them up. I assume that's like a sit pretty. Uh, advanced commands, walk faster, down, watch me, wait, fetch a ball slash frisbee, put away toys, hold it, drop it, speak, quiet, heel, turn left, turn right with cute little illustrations. This is awesome. I love this really really cute i wish it included like some fun like positive reinforcement tips in here for teaching dogs like if it was an actual booklet more than this but i can't complain for 9.99 this is like kind of like the throwaway paper version of this in this playset. i love it so the leash has tape on it presumably to make it stay coiled in the package don't do it don't come apart okay i'm gonna have to use scissors Ugh. yeah this is kind of, this tape is super irritating, fun. But the leash is a very cute little rope leash. It doesn't have any kind of clasp on it, which is kind of strange. Um, I had hoped that it would have like a little clasp that we could attach it to the Noof's collar, but it just has a little ring over here, which is weird, but it is really cute and it will look really cute. Um, can you hold it? She can hold it that's super cute yeah okay no complaints on the leash we have our top dog metal which 
is ribbon and plastic and the little gold metal says top dog really really cute i really like that i can hold that too we have a little frisbee with a paw print on it plastic really nice actually really really nice plastic feels very thick we have oops, more tape we have a little tug toy this is really nice and soft i love this love 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 this and it's all a really great size that she can hold i actually would have made that a little bigger but not complaining we have a tennis ball which is kind of a rubbery material the size comparison of this rope i would have made that rope toy bigger but ooh, it bounces i just discovered when i dropped it super cute here we have our training gear we have a little whistle and the tiny clicker moment of truth do we think the tiny clicker clicks oh my god it really does this is by far the cutest tiny clicker I have and it is on like a little bracelet that I think can we fit it on her hand not quite we can't quite fit it over her hand but she can hold it that's really really cute okay I'm, a, I'm obsessed that the tiny clicker actually works okay that's gonna stay down there um we have a container of training treats. These are cardboard, like a little cardboard package. That's cute. We have, oops, these are stuck on tape probably so they don't fly around like I just did. We have three tiny dog bone treats really cute and now i'm going to open this part next mostly so i don't lose them we have top dog treats training pouch i'm gonna put does it cinch <gasps> it cinches closed i'm obsessed will this fit around your waist all right i really want this to fit around her waist and not around her neck, which is what I think it's probably designed to do, but I'm just gonna tuck it in to her shorts so that she can, I will probably um, use a safety pin or tie it to keep it like this when I have her up on display in my office, but I love that she can wear her little training pouch, which we're gonna keep open <laughs> by popping this container of treats into sorry this video has now become very long of an unboxing but for those of you who are interested in the details of this and i did get a request to do this on facebook so i hope you enjoy this um i'm gonna get a safety pin from my crafts and attach that so that she can wear the little treat pouch so freaking cute so cute so i put the tiny treats in there so we don't lose them we have some dog poop which i find absolutely hilarious and oh my goodness a teeny tiny little pink poop bag dispenser there is an, a, a little toy like poop bag sticking out of it and this is on like a tiny little carabiner clip and so i'm going to attach this to the training bag oh my god so she's got a training pouch and um poop bags on her at all times hold her clicker here but i just can't get over the fact that the tiny clicker actually works just saying and then the last piece we have is this little jump that you can use as a jump or you can take it apart and have some cones for rally healing practice, which is very fun. Uh, I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. This was absolutely worth $35 to get the accessory pack with the dog trainer. Um, I hope that you enjoyed today's video. If you enjoy any of the content that I create here, please don't forget to subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up. Uh, it really helps the channel. Let me know if there is fun, 
creative content you'd like to see more of here on YouTube. If you are missing my toy videos, if you love to see all of my little toy life content, definitely check out my Patreon. I post there all the time. All those kinds of videos are there on an almost daily basis. Uh, and in the meantime, I hope that you and your dogs are having a super magical day. Let me know if you have picked up this uh, doll or any of the My Life dolls. I'd love to know if you're collecting them. Um, I'm definitely not going to become an 18 inch doll collector, but I could not resist this dog trainer. I'm so excited to get her set up in my office. I've been moving some things around on my bookshelves so that Jillian has a place to be. Uh, and in the meantime, have fun with your dogs and I will see you again in another video very soon. Bye!